Hey guys, so Jason and Tina from Creality recently sent me an LD002R resin 3D printer. So does this make me a sponsored content creator? Well, not really. But they did give me an affiliate link, which means if you buy anything from the Creality link down below, it really supports my channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. And they actually have a big Black Friday sale going on right now until December 1st. So more details on that down below. But anyways, I've had this printer for a few weeks now. So obviously I've already customized and upgraded the crap out of it. And a video for that will be up in a few weeks. But for now, I wanted to share my setup with you guys. First, I needed to protect my dinner table. I got this silicone mat from Amazon. It's supposed to be like a place mat, but for animals. And that's exactly what you are when you work with resin, because this stuff is a mess. So this thing is perfect. Next, nitro gloves. You want to protect your hands from anything that touches resin. This stuff absorbs through your skin and can actually ruin your life. So be careful. Now put on a mask and you're ready to start printing. I start with some IPA in a spray bottle for light cleaning, but that's not really enough. So for thorough cleaning, I modeled up this drainer and printed it on my Ender 3 Pro. And this actually took a long time because I had to do a bunch of tests, but in the end, it fits an OXO container perfectly and I'm actually really proud of it. Filled up the container with some IPA and that is what I'm using for cleaning my prints. There is also this slant on the drainer that perfectly holds the print platform for you to clean that as well when needed. Now that you've washed off the resin, you now need to fully cure and harden the resin. Usually you can just leave these in the sun for a few minutes, but since I live in Seattle, there's no sun. So I needed a UV curing box. Now you can buy these, but I just decided to make one myself. These kind of bins usually come with a wall mount. They click into place and can also act as a great stand. Then using my Ender 3, I printed this platform and glued it to the bin, giving it a flat base. Then I covered the inside with aluminum tape and be careful with this part. Then I got some black light LED strips. Don't use dollar store glue guns. And then I wired everything up to this timer circuit. I 3D printed one more piece. This clips onto the lid, allowing it to latch onto the body to close the box. And that's it. Fill a transparent container with water, drop your print inside, and that's my water curing setup. So to sum up my setup, pretty much I print on the LD002R, wash the print in this OXO container, and then I water cure the prints in my uh, compost bin. 
It's a little scrappy, but I kind of like it. It gets the job done. And remember guys, this is my first resin 3D printer. So this is probably not going to be the best setup. Definitely do your own research. And if I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know down below. And I'll also pin a comment with any updates or FAQs and stuff that comes up. Now I can probably print some of these on my Ender 3, but these kind of resin printers can just achieve a way higher level of fidelity and a way smoother surface finish. So these are obviously a lot better for miniatures or you know, highly detailed models. So I can't wait to use this printer in my future projects. Anyways, if you guys wanna see a video of the upgrades and mods and customizations I added to this printer, subscribe and that video will be up in a few weeks. And I promise the Ender 3 Upgrades Part 2 video will also be up after that. Um, that's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching, guys.